Hi, I'm Ines, a PhD student at INRIAN and EZ, and this video presents our work about tap stimulations as an alternative to the vibrations when conveying the apparent haptic motion illusion. The apparent haptic motion is one of the numerous tactile illusions used to enrich devices and transmit messages. This illusion consists of the asynchronous activation of discrete stimulation points with vibrotactile actuators on the skin to convey a sensation of continuous motion. It is an interesting tool to indicate directional cues, making it even more relevant for applications such as navigation assistance, which is our main focus. However, transmitting complex vibratory messages or combining multiple vibrotactile signals is challenging, especially during prolonged use, because of the risk of creating tactile noise, referred to as tactile clutter. Thus, finding an alternative to the vibrations for conveying the apparent haptic motion is a research topic of interest. Our work focused on testing and comparing the perception of the apparent motion in vibratory mode versus a mode in which the motors continuously press the skin instead of vibrating. We call this the tap mode. Then, to investigate the robustness of the illusion and its adaptability to portable and handle-shaped devices, we conducted our experiment on five different curvatures. The study was realized with three custom-designed electromagnetic actuators fixed onto a flexible 3D printed handrest which curvature was adjustable. A controller and amplifiers were also used for signal processing. These actuators were used both for the vibratory and the tap mode. Only the signals sent through the controller were different to convey the two sensations. The experiment was conducted in a dark room on 18 participants wearing noise-canceling headphones. The stimulation were conveyed along the palm and the middle finger. Besides the two ways of stimulating, vibratory and tap, we also considered two directions of motion, distal to proximal and proximal to distal, and five different curvatures of the contact surface. After the stimulations, the participant answered questions. First, about the perceived orientation of the movement, distal to proximal or the other way around. Then they had to rate the ease to determine this direction, the smoothness of the stimulation, the pleasantness and the fatigue on their hand, all of those on a 7-point Laker scale. The results showed that whatever the curvature and the signal type, the participants could perfectly sense the direction of the apparent motion. There was also no impact on the ease to determine this direction, the evaluation of the stimulation smoothness, or its pleasantness. Only a light effect of the curvature on the fatigue was found with the tap stimulation, which was found to be a probable consequence of the uncomfortable wrist position. In the end, we found that the apparent haptic motion is a robust illusion on curved surfaces. We also found that vibrations are not mandatory to create the illusion. Besides, type stimulations are interesting for prolonged use to convey the illusion and directional information. As a consequence, it can also be used to create multimodal devices associated with vibrations, for example. Thank you for your attention.